morning, how are you? Good morning, I am very good. Thank you so much. He says, what's the most important lesson you learned in the past week? Mm -hmm. I think it's embracing the moment. Really enjoying the moment for what it is, like a song. I think I met so many people the past week that re I really treasure. And I think that, of course, it's in my dream, the Miss Universe crown, but I also just embrace the moment, and that's one of the best parts. If beauty is in the eyes of the beholder, in whose eyes are you beautiful? In my own eyes. I always make sure that every day when I go out, when I'm doing my own makeup, that my standard of beauty is myself. We all have our preferences on what's beautiful, but I think that I am beautiful because I am me. And I think if I could show a girl that she can feel like that as well, that's something that I would be proud of for the rest of my life. Time. Oh, my time. <laughs> if, your next question is, if we truly learn from our mistakes, would you advise the young person to keep making them? Absolutely. I think when I was 17 years old, I have made so many mistakes in my life. Just thinking about them right now makes me nervous. <laughs> but I think all those mistakes, like not trusting myself enough to love someone, all those mistakes will make me take more risks in the future and now. Which is why I always take more risks now, because I used not to. If you have the power to do one of the following, eliminate poverty and hunger, a government with no graft and corruption, or solve all environmental problems, which would you choose? I think the closest thing to my heart is eliminating hunger, because coming from Masbate, there are a lot of places out there that really need children who need nourishment. And I think that that's one of the biggest things that I need to focus on as a privileged person. I am not ashamed of my privilege, but I think that I should do more in my whole life, and especially as a miracle baby. If you were to add to cart one item to buy on the Zada to send to all Filipinas to help inspire them during this time, what would it be and why? I think it's a rosary because that's what my mother gave me when I went into the pageant. My mother was nervous about me coming into a pageant because she thinks that I always need her, but I always do need her. But I also have the strength that wherever I go, I can do my best because the rosary is with me. Thank you. Thank you, Christmas. Oh, thank you so much. It's done now. <laughs>